This is uh, Monte Cristo here in Seoul, Korea. I had a great time watching the All-Star Games with Doa today at his apartment, uh, but I saw a lot of negative feedback from the community that I wanted to take a minute to address because this is a really complex tournament that's taking place right now, and I think it's important that some fans keep some things in mind. Um, I mean, it's a lot of fun, and it's awesome that Riot is doing this. The stage and production is amazing. The games are so entertaining to watch. But when you're watching the All-Star Games, I just I think it's important to keep a couple of things in mind. Um, and it's, it's particularly important. I think it's always important to save the harsh words for the pros, but I think it's even more important in this situation due to the structure of this tournament and how things work here. Um, the pro players are doing their best to represent their regions, and they all know it's so important. I mean, this this third slot at Worlds is really critical and can definitely influence a region's chance to win a very important multi-million dollar competition. So there's that, of course, hovering in the back of their minds at all times. And they know the stakes, and they just want to do you guys proud. They really do. They care a lot about the fans. There's no pro player I've ever talked to that doesn't deeply care about the fans. So in this situation, they were voted in by us, all of us, the fans, to represent a region as part of that team. Uh, they didn't really have a choice about their teammates. Um, they didn't know perhaps how to play with these teammates. Some of them had never played on a team before. And League of Legends, is a, it's a team-based game. Uh, there are the teamwork and the team dynamic is the hardest thing to actually achieve. And so to throw a bunch of guys together and expect them to perform in a very short amount of time is, is asking a lot. And maybe these guys, maybe they, their play styles, they just don't mesh together. Perhaps there is some personal dislike. Maybe there are communication issues. Maybe there are too many play callers or too few. Maybe there's the wrong kind of play caller for a specific player. And I think all of these factors have to be kept in mind when we think about this tournament. And so I'm, I just think that any kind of backlash against a certain player's play has to be taken with deep consideration for the circumstances at hand. Uh, these guys are not playing with their teammates that sometimes they played with for years. And there's also the issue of a lot of these guys are in All-Stars because they tend to carry their teams. And I was talking with Jad about this before the, the All-Star games even started. But a lot of these guys, they're accustomed to getting empty lane farm. They are put in the spotlight by their teams. They are given access to more gold to more of a chance to carry with their items and levels. And so when you throw a few of these guys together on the same team, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sometimes you need players on a team that are stable and reliable but not flashy. I mean, look at look at some of the, the teams that have been very powerful over the course of League of Legends. Look at CLG, for example. Hotshot's not the flashiest player, but his team built strategies with his playstyle in mind that led to a pretty extensive history of success over the course of LOL. Look at Frost, for example, CJ Frost. For most of their history, they had Wung, who was a very unconventional AD carry, and even so, they took second place at the World Finals and have had an amazingly consistent record in terms of tournaments, including make it, making it to every single champion's final. So I think you really have to consider what happens when we, we take these players and put them in a new situation, and that perhaps we should re reserve some judgment for them due to the circumstances of these, these new teams, while still having a great time with All-Stars. So that's, I mean, that's, that's about what I wanted to say about it. So I don't know how many people will see this. I'm just going to post it out there, put it on Twitter. But if you guys are watching the rest of the All-Stars game this weekend, please just try and have a great time with the tournament and try and reserve some of that criticism for the players that I've, or the regions that I've seen being thrown around. It's not, All-Star game is awesome, but it's not really a good representation of regional strength because we're not seeing the teams from these regions. And again, teams are the most important. We can talk about that come World Championship time.
But for now, just kick back, relax, have a great time with the awesome show that Riot has made for all of us, and try and be a little bit easier on the players. So thanks a lot, guys, and I hope you have a great time watching the rest of the All-Star Games like I will.